Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but I was browsing my local store the other day trying to find stuff. Didn't find stuff, at least not what I was looking for. But what they did have was some of this CCI 22 mag or WMR shot shells. So if you've never seen this stuff before, check it out. So pretty much it's around with whole bunch of little babies in the top and they load this in a bunch of different stuff like this is 22 mag I've seen this stuff loaded in 357 mag 44 mag uh, 38 special I've also seen it in 9 millimeter and 45 but like I said the stuff we got here today uh, 22 mag and anytime you bring this stuff up I'm talking about anytime you bring this stuff up everybody in the comments says Oh, that'd be great for uh, shooting some rats. That'd be great out in the barn. I could shoot some mice or some starlings and not put holes in my barn. But then when you ask people, have you ever tried it? They say no. So I don't know a single person that has ever actually used this stuff for pest control. It says right here on the box right there, pest control. But that's why we make these videos to see what actually happens. So. A lot of times when you think about this stuff too, people say, oh, that'd be great in a revolver. Well, I don't have a 22 mag revolver right now, but what I do have is my Savage Model 93 in 22 mag. So this is what we're going to try this ammo out of right here. And yeah, just for the sake of knowing how well does it actually work, I'm going to shoot it out of that... Uh, savage at 10 yards 20 yards 30 yards and if it makes sense we'll do 50 yards and maybe even 100 but out of that rifle barrel we're gonna see how this shot does and kind of see how it groups so we can prove is it actually good for pest control you know could you shoot it inside your barn you know whatever however big your barn is 10 yards 20 yards for pest control we're gonna find that out today I'm curious I want to know and randomly they had that at the store and I thought I'd make a fun video, but let's go up to 10 yards first and just kind of see what happens and we'll back it up from there um, as it still makes sense, but check it out. I think it should be a pretty fun video. All right, so first we're going to take a shot at 10 yards, but just to show you real quick, I loaded up three in the mag just fine. So they loaded in the mag just fine and we're going to take our first shot here at 10 yards. I got some paper plates set up. See how she loads here. Will it load effortlessly? Yeah, loaded in there just fine. So let's see uh, what it does over here to this paper plate at 10 yards. We'll give her all the zooms, which is nine zoomies on this Barska soap scope. I'm going to hold dead center of that plate. See what happens. Looking through the scope at 10 yards, I don't even see any holes in that plate, uh, which is kind of hilarious. Like, um, is this stuff just absolutely worthless? It did fire. Well, let's go up there and look at that paper plate real quick. At 10 yards, I would think I could see holes in that piece of paper. Um, and I don't see any holes, so let's go take a look. And we may even go closer. I was expecting our next shot to be further, 20 yards, but we'll see what happens with that, and then we'll go from there. So, walking up to our 10 yard paper plate here. So, I was holding dead center of there with the rifle. So, if a squirrel or a snake or a starling or something was right here, I probably would have missed them. So, there's a hole in the plate there, a couple up here one down here but uh that pest would have survived which totally surprised me i would have assumed that most of that group would have been right here in the center um yeah let's bring it into like five yards and see what happens oh there's another hole right there but yeah whatever varmint was standing there uh that one probably would have bounced off 
I seriously thought we were going to take shots at 50 yards with this, but maybe not. This might just be some worthless stuff wasting my money, eh? Let's get more like five yards and see what happens. Hopefully a little bit better than that. That was very disappointing, but we don't know until we try it out, and that's why we do these videos. All right, now, half the distance. This is only at five yards. I hate to say it, but we got to take off all the zoomies. Let's go down to just three zooms. Load another one in there. Load it up in there perfect. Probably smoother than any other 22 mag, but uh, what's the point in loading it uh, if it doesn't hit anything? So here, let's try out five yards. See what happens. Dead center hold here. Well. Appears to be a little bit better, but let's go up close and check it out quick. All right, now walking up to our target from five yards. That definitely improved our number of hits there. So again, I held dead center. Actually had one hit there, you know. If there was a bird standing there though, honestly, may have gotten away because he probably only got hit with one pellet. We got quite a bit up high, down here, a uh, little bit down here. Honestly, surprised at the spread at only five yards out of a rifle. Some way up at the top, some way down at the bottom, you could assume that that group was even much greater than the plate. So even at five yards, man, that's pretty uh, discouraging. If I can get within five yards of some kind of pest, I'm probably just gonna grab that sucker with my hand. So what's the point in this ammo if it can't even put a half decent group at five yards? So let's get it even closer. Let's go to one yard, you know, three feet away and just see what happens with it. Really disappointed. I honestly thought we were gonna go take a shot at 100 yards and get some hits, but that ain't gonna happen. Let's go up closer to one yard, see what happens. All right, now here we go. The shot with just from one yard away. Definitely did a little bit better than those other two, I think. All right, so let's take a look at our one yard shot. So, there is one yard. So, definitely got a whole bunch of hits where we were aiming, too many to count. So, one yard, yeah, probably uh, a good ammo there. Well, there you have it, guys. Super, super disappointed. I was extremely surprised, and I don't get surprised much extremely surprised and honestly really disappointed but i've got those three plates up here 10 yards five yards and one yards so we can look at them side by side check this out the results real quick on this test here with that 20 ma 22 mag shot shell that was our shot at 10 yards then there's our shot at five yards pretty dispersed there and then there's our shot at one yard so what does this tell you? At one yard, uh, this is some good stuff. So if you can get it within one yard of your snake or your varmint or other pest, mouse, rat, definitely will probably work. Within five yards, uh, then I think we're starting to get a little bit iffy. So spread is pretty wide. And honestly, not sure how deep those are gonna penetrate. 10 yards, I would pretty much say you're wasting your time and you're wasting your money. And again, let me show you another little quick look at here what we're using. See how many of those BBs are down in that shot shell. Number 12 shot, 1,000 feet per second, 52 grains of flingamabobs there. There you have it, guys. Like I said, honestly, super kind of disappointed there. I keep squinting because I'm looking at the sunlight in the... The camera there but i had higher hopes for that had a whole bunch of video ideas we were going to follow up with but honestly ah uh, man um uh, stuff just didn't work out too good for us uh and can you imagine if we were shooting that out of a revolver not a rifle like the groups probably wouldn't have even hit that piece of paper so i thought it would do a whole lot better than that i really hate to ever 
say anything too negative about a company or ammo, you know, if I owned that company, I'd hate for somebody to be making a bad video about my product. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, is what it is. Didn't pan out too well for us today, at least not with that 22 mag. But, hey, it's still, uh, still a good day out here at the range. Absolutely appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. Subscribe to our friends at Heavy Metal if you haven't already. We will see you guys on the next time. Let me know if you have any ideas for that stuff. Because I got um, all this left and no plans for it now. Because you can't hit the broad side of a barn with it. But appreciate y'all watching. Comment down below if it's ever worked for you. Maybe a different caliber or something. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hootie hoo. Oh.